our God. How majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the heavens is chanted by the mouths of babes and infants. Thou hast founded a bulwark because of thy foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. So the first thing that God does for you is to silence your enemies. To silence your enemies. To silence those powers that do not want you to rise. That do not want you to find expression. That the glory of God will not find expression in life. To silence them. This is the word of the Lord. To say what? He says to steal the enemy and the avenger. And then verse 3 says, When I look at the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which, which thou hast what? Established. Then verse 4 says, He has given man the authority. And the Bible is asking the question, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou dost care for him? And he says, verse 5 says, Yet thou hast made him little less than what? God. So you are a God on earth. Everybody say, I'm a God on earth. Say it with boldness. I'm a God on earth. He has given you, has made you like a God on earth to have dominion. And he continues, And thou crown him with glory and honor. So anywhere in your life that you are not experiencing glory and honor, it means that the avenger has come to steal your glory and your honor. But the Bible says, he shall steal your enemies and then silence them. That I decree upon someone who has faith that is ready to receive this morning, that every power that wants to snatch your glory and your honor, may they go down in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. He has given you the mandate. It says then, thou has, verse 6 says, thou has given him dominion over the works of what? Thy hands. Thou has put all things under what? His feet. So in this month of August, wherever you are going, you are going to be declaring and declaring that the blessings of God for me in this month begin to arrive. Begin to arrive because I'm a carrier of glory. I'm a carrier of honor. Wherever I go, doors are open unto me. Doors are open unto me. Systems are working to my advantage in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. And it continues. All sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field. The birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the path of the sea, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in what all the earth. This message is coming at a time when so many powers are hijacking the glory and the destinies of many. God has given us the power to have dominion. God has given us power to express his power in the earth. That the power of God must first be expressed in my life, then in the works of my hands. That every day of my life I confess the majesty of God. The earth is an element of creation. And the earth must actually yield forth its increase. That every power, whatever man or woman who conjures with spirit, using the earth as an element of creation against you. Now the Lord has said they shall be still and be silent. I declare and declare the earth will open and swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you believe this word? The Lord is the creator of heaven and earth. So when you wake up, he says, I look up to the heavens. You are on earth. And you are not to look to man. You are to look toward heaven. So I look up to heavens. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord who made what? Heaven and earth. The God that you have served is the God who has created the heavens. So when you are looking up for help, you must look unto God. When you receive power, when you receive help from God, what happens? He makes your work on earth easy. He makes your labor easy. He makes everything you do easy for you. This month shall be a month of ease for someone who has faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Apostles' Creed 
professes the God that God is the creator of heaven and earth. The Nicene Creed makes it very clear that makes it very clear about this profession when he includes that of all things seen and what unseen. So he tells you that even as you are that God has created the heavens and the earth, there are also unseen realities that you must also be aware of. And the Bible tells you and I in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, we wrestle not against what flesh and blood, but against what principalities and powers in the high places. So, what are those principalities and powers that are in partnership with men on earth in order to bring frustration to you in this month of August? By the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord in his mercy silences them and gives you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. The scriptural expression, the heaven and the earth, means all that exists in creation. Creation in its entirety. Now, it also indicates the bond deep within creation. The bond of relationship deep within creation that both unites heaven and earth and then distinguishes the one from the other. The earth is the world of men. The earth is the world of men. While the heavens or the heaven can designate both the firmament and God's own place. Our Father in heaven and consequently the heaven too with which he is talking about the end for which every creation shall turn to. Every creation shall turn to. It talks about our final destination. The heavens is the dwelling place of God. The heaven is also our final destination. Now heaven also refers to the place where the saints are. The place of spiritual creatures. The angels who surround God. Psalm 115 verse 16 says, The heavens are the Lord's. The Lord's heavens. But the earth he has given to the sons of men. So God has given you the sun, the earth. What has he given you to do on earth? To what? To cultivate it. To partner with him. To bring about his word, his dominion. That every time that you are partnering with God, what is happening? You are bringing glory to the Lord. It is indeed a good thing that brings joy to God when in your work, your work of life, you bring glory to the name of the Lord. When your family brings forth glory to the name of the Lord. When in your relationship, we bring forth glory to the name of the Lord. That is why we sang that song. My life is full of what? Your glory. The earth is full of your glory. The heavens are full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. That every day of my life, my, my life is decorated with glory and honor. Brothers and sisters, the profession, the professional of faith of the Fourth Lateran Council in 1215 affirms that God from the beginning of time made at once out of nothing both others of creatures, the spiritual and corporeal, that is the angelic and the earthly, and then the human creature who as it were shares in both others being composed of spirit and body. What you are a spirit being, what unites your spirit, what unites your soul and your flesh is your mind. That you, as your mind becomes an intelligent, an intelligent aspect of you, whereby you are able to operate both spiritually and then physically. The human body is only the species that has been given the permission to operate on earth. It is a legal authority that you have to walk upon earth spirits cannot walk upon it if they must walk upon it they need the host a human body in order to walk and cause havoc but i am decreeing and declaring that every spirit who walks upon the earth in human body in order to cause you havoc in order to cause you shame in order to stop you from rising by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of god come and consume that spirit in the mighty name of jesus remember that child of god when god wants to help you he uses men when God when Satan wants to destroy your life he uses men I am praying for you in this month of August that men who are called hell 
God, destiny help us, ordain men according to the order of Joseph of Arimathea. I decree and I declare as the word of God says in Numbers chapter 1 verse 5, every God ordained man that should arrive on your destiny and help you, may they begin to arrive on time in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. That whenever you are praying, you are partnering with the word of God. So that your word does not become banal. Does not become empty. The earth belongs to the Lord. I'm a spirit being walking on earth. I have a legal authority. And because I have this legal authority, he has given me a command. Be fruitful and do what? Multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Everybody say to your soul, say to your spirit, I shall be fruitful and multiply. I shall be fruitful and multiply. I shall have dominion in every area of my life. I shall be fruitful and multiply. For this is the word of the Lord to me. I shall be fruitful and multiply. Oh God, hear the word of the Lord. I shall be fruitful and multiply. That God's hand is upon my life. Is upon my destiny. I shall be fruitful and multiply. No gap, no error in my my life, my land shall be full of his glory. Every day of my life I'll be fruitful. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I shall be fruitful and multiply. The glory of the Lord is upon my life, giving me reasons to journey, giving me reasons to excel, giving me reasons to succeed. I shall be fruitful and multiply. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, in the order of creation we talk about the creation of angels as spiritual beings created by this God now the existence of angels is a truth of faith the existence of spiritual non corporeal beings that sacred scripture usually calls angels is a truth of faith the witness of scripture is as clear as the unanimity of what the tradition that we belong to who are angels what are they what do they represent it's important because this is going to be part of your prayer what i'm teaching this morning because you can speak forth and decree and declare that the angels of the lord go on an errand for you and bring forth the goodness of the lord to you in creation very importantly Remember as we, even as we are gathered here, there are angels who are called ministering spirits that partners with us to help us to pray. There are also angels who take our prayers to God and present it to God the Most High. There are angels who are responsible for bringing forth the answers from the kingdom of God and bringing it to us. There are angels. There are angels who are waiting and fighting battles for you. That you as the one whom God has created and given dominion, you have the power to actually do what? Ask them, ask of their ministry to intercede and actually work for you. That wherever, wherever people need to help you, let the angels of the Lord move and begin to speak into their hearing. That they will remember you for good. They will remember your family for good. They will remember your business for good. They will remember you in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's important you understand this teaching. St. Augustine says, angel, when we talk about angel, we refer to their word. It is the name of their office. Anytime you hear the word angel, it is the office of the angel. There is the office of the angel who is called the mighty warrior. What is his name? I can't hear you. Michael the archangel. There is an angel who is responsible for bringing healing. What is his name? What is the angel responsible for bringing good news? I pray Gabriel will bring good news for you. That where you are sick as he brought healing to what? To buy, to, to beat. And through Tobias, I decree, may he send angel Raphael bring forth the healing of the Lord to your families in the mighty name of Jesus. There is an angel who is in charge of the warriors and the world militias of heaven. Angel Michael. I decree he will station. He is stationed in the front of your destiny. Wielding forth, scattering, bulldozing, every affliction, every evil, man or woman, coming to obstruct the handwork of the Lord upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The angels of the Lord, you can ask them for their help. 
that every now and then you make a prayer to angels and Michael the archangel. You also make a prayer toward your angel guardian. We are coming to that point. So the name of their office is what? Angel. Not of their nature. Now the name of their nature is what? Spirit. They are spirits. But the name of their office is what? Angel. If you seek the name of their office, it is angel. From what they are, they are spirits. From what they do, they are angels. Angel Michael. Angel Raphael. Angel what? Gabriel. Angels are servants of God. They are messengers of God. Matthew chapter 18 verse 10 says, In the parable of the Lordship, Jesus said, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven there are angels always behold the face of my Father who is what? In heaven. So if you are doing things that will bring about shame and disgrace to any child, and introduce the child to something that is not good. Remember, you're not only offending the man, you're offending his angel who beholds the face of God every time. Psalm 103 verse 20 says, Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones, who do his word, hearkening to the voice of his word. The angels listen to the voice of God. When God wants to bless a man's life, he sends angels. So many of you have encountered angels in extraordinary ways, in extraordinary situations. And when you turn back, you would think that they are men. But when you turn back, you only discover that what? They are what? They are God. You do not know how they came to assist you. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, they came and they appeared. These are angels sent from God in order to help you. Especially in dire situations. When you least expected help on a lonely road, you are alone standing. Why maybe your car had a flat tire? And then because he's a creator of heaven and earth, because you do his will, you always obey him, you always make effort to serve him faithfully while you are joining. The pestilence of the day and the terrors of the night do not come near you because what? He has given charge, he has given his angels charge over your life. And so therefore, no power, no terror by day or by night will ever afflict you. That even when you find yourself alone, no man walking, suddenly the appearance of a man comes and helps you fix your tires. This is angels. And when you want to give them a token of appreciation, they tell you, no, don't worry. I did it for God. You will hear them say this. I decree and declare, in the time of your need, in the time of your need, child of God, may the angels of the Lord bring you help speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says our help is in the name of the Lord. You see, when you say our help is in the name of the Lord, you are not just making an empty statement that God who is a creator can raise men and women to come to your aid. This is a God who is a God who is a creator. Now, angels have intelligence and will. They have intelligence and will. They are personal and immortal creatures surpassing in perfection all visible creatures as the splendor of their glory bears witness they have intelligence they have will and the only will that they obey is the will of god when you ask and you pray lord send me helpers god send you helpers and this is why you can say to a man you are an angel you have come to assist me so many people use it romantically but that is out of the context you are an angel who has been sent to help me in the time of my need you are an angel who has come to assist me you are an angel who has come to show me the hand of and the face of god you are an angel brothers and sisters angels in relation to the ministry of christ now christ is a center of the angelic world now how do we know this they are there they, they are his angels matthew chapter 25 verse 31 says when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him then he will sit on his glorious throne then he will sit on his glorious throne he says when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him all the angels with him then he will sit on his glorious throne now they belong to him because they were created true and for him 
Now, Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 says, For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Angels were created through him and for him to serve him, to assist and to do his bidding angels belong to christ still more because he had made them messengers of his saving plan now hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 says are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to serve ministry spirits sent forth to serve so as even as we are praying here there are angels present for the sake of those who are to obtain salvation for the sake of our lady star of the sea for the sake of father wisdom who is leading our lady star of the sea in praying and those following online there are angels who have been sent to serve me there are angels who have been sent to what serve you for the sake of what salvation so every time you are doing the bidding of god there are angels released the angels that will stand to assist you the angels because why will they assist you because you are configured to christ so by your configurement to Christ, there are angels sent to assist you. Brothers and sisters, instances of the activities of angels in creation. Now, angels have been present through creation and throughout the history of salvation. We notice this in the following. Number one, the announcing of salvation. Number two, they closed the earthly paradise. Number three, they protected Lord Lot. They protected him from being destroyed when God sent sulfur in order to destroy and fire to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They were angels. That even when the when the men of Gomorrah wanted to lie with the with the son of what of, of Lot, what happened? The Lord asked him to go inside. The angel brought Lot inside and his family, and they shut the door. And the men wearied themselves at the door. This is why I'm praying for you. Whoever attempts to spoil your life, they will weary themselves at the door. In the mighty name of Jesus. Dead child of God, know that you are special. You are a child of God. This teaching going on, do not allow yourself to be distracted. So that when it's time for you to pray, you are praying with understanding. Lord, send forth an angel to assist me. Maybe there is a charm in your office. Maybe there are men who are conspiring against you. When the angel of God is released, when he comes to assist, he makes him effective. Even their charm, even though you consume it without knowing, he makes it what? Ineffective. And all the days of their life, they will be disappointed. Did you not hear the first reading of today and the gospel reading of today? A man was sent in order to deliver what? Jeremiah. He was an angel. Where you have no helper, the plan of the evil one will do what succeed and prevail. John's, John the Baptist's head was cut because there was no intercessor. I pray for you in this month of August. Whoever goes on a wrong journey, whoever goes on a wrong journey, whoever goes on a wrong journey, who is angry because you are rising, who is angry become bitter because you are doing well, I decree, even though he has planned evil against you, he shall call upon his head in the name of Jesus. Where you need help to push your destiny forward. May angels appear. May angels appear. May they push you forward. Deliver you and bring you God's power. In the mighty name of Jesus. As he brought a healing power to Toby, to Tobias. I decree for somebody here. May angels arrive on time. As he brought deliverance to Sarah. Delivered her from the spirit of Asmodeus. I decree and I declare. May the angels of the Lord bring forth the healing and deliverance for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus this is the word of the Lord the angels are real you have watched many videos where somebody was walking all of a sudden he was snatched out of what a moving car that would have crushed his life these videos that have been caught on cameras the activities of angels 
God who created has sent for them and released them. So do not think that the world is just evil. This teaching is coming at a time where people think that the world is evil. The world is still good. And God is still doing good in the heart of man. In the lives of men. And that is why you sang the word, Waymaker, Miracle Walker. Can we sing that song again? Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper, Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Waymaker, Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper, Light in the darkness. My God, that Lying in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Sing it one more time. We make a miracle walk, a promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And all of a sudden, somebody comes to assist you. This is he who is called the way maker. Light in the darkness. That even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of what death, can we say together, even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I do what? I fear no evil. For what? Thou art with me, thy rod and the staff, they compass me. And every day of my life, what will happen? Goodness and mercy shall follow me who are those bringing forth the goodness of the lord the angels of the lord they are the messengers of the lord to bring to serve and to help those who have been chosen for salvation he protected a lot he also saved Hagar. he showed her the water in the desert <laughs> in this month of august the lord will send his angels to open your eyes you will see opportunities. Opportunities will not pass you by. Opportunities that will lift you high. The Lord will open your eyes. You will see them. Even though you are shedding tears. Even though you are crying and asking, where will my help come from? He will send his angels as he did to Hagar in the wilderness of Bathsheba. I decree he will send helpers to you and open your eyes in the name of Jesus. That child of God, it is important that your eyes are opened. Your eyes are opened. In creation, there is one who is called the monarch of the universe. Who has released his angels. Because you serve the purposes of the kingdom of God, your hands will not be empty. Look at the testimonies we had last week. An expression and a testimony of the goodness of the Lord in our lives. So when somebody tells you that God is not good, God is not helping, tell him he doesn't understand. Open his eyes through scriptures and then begin to tell him line after line, precept upon precept about the goodness of the Lord. He stayed Abraham's hand. Abraham wanted to kill Isaac and he opened his eye to the lamb of sacrifice. When Isaac asked him, he said, where is the lamb of sacrifice? What did he say? He said, God will provide. So your faith must be activated in order that your eyes may see. Your faith needs to be activated so that the Lord will open your eyes. And then he turned around and then he saw the lamb of sacrifice. He communicated the law by ministry. Let the people of God, the angel of the Lord change position. And then the pillar of cloud went before them as pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Even in the time of Elisha, when the Syrian king came against the children of Israel, he said, surrounded around us are what? The mighty warriors of heaven. Lord, open his eyes that he may see that those who are for us are more than those who are against us. So in a time when you were alone, the mighty warriors of heaven are released. The time when you are feeling that all cases have been closed against you. A mighty warrior. He sends his militia. He sends his chariots of war. His very chariots of war. And they surround you. That the enemies will not hear me on any side. That you are moving after glory after glory. All the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
know that you serve a living God. You are not serving a dead God. Can we say that? I serve a living God. Can we say that? He announced the birth and the callings of Jesus. Even before Jesus, he announced the birth of John the Baptist. He assisted the prophets. In Luke chapter 1 verse 11 and verse 26, he says, And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Who was that? Whose apparition was that too? It was towards Zechariah. And verse 26 it says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named what? Nazareth. The angel Gabriel announced the birth of John the Baptist and that of Jesus. The angel of the Lord also works in order to partner with us to always pray to God. The angel of the Lord. Now instances and the activities of angels in the ministry of Jesus from the incarnation to the ascension. The life of the word incarnate is surrounded by the adoration and the service of angels. Now for instance, when God brings the firstborn into the world, he says in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6, and again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. The angels of the Lord worship the Lord. You will do yourself good when you continue to pray because the angels of God have been sent to bring you deliverance. When God is actually working to bring you deliverance, you are playing, believing as a prayer has been said over you. Remember, you give the angels assistance to always do what? Pray. It is in the place of prayer that what you have is protected. It is in the place of prayer. All the treasures, your business, your rising. You are a man. You do not pray. You think, yes, you are working on your strength. You will fail. You move on the strength of what God, not on your own strength. Because he's the creator of heaven and earth. God is the maker of the universe. So it's important that if your angels must be active, if your angels must be strong, you must also be a man of prayer, a woman of prayer to activate their ministry. Their song of praise at the birth of Christ has not ceased resounding in the church's praise contained in Luke chapter 2 verse 14. When the Lord Jesus was born, the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on what? On earth, peace among men with whom he is what? Pleased. So as you please the Lord, the glory of the Lord shines upon you. They are protected. They protected Jesus in his infancy. They served him in the desert. They strengthened him in his agony in the garden. When he could have been saved by them from the hands of his enemies as Israel had been. Their brothers and sisters, the angels worked mightily in the ministry of Jesus. In Luke chapter 2 verse 8 to 14. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. Verse 9 says, And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with what fear. Verse 10 says, And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy good news of a great joy which will come to all the people verse 11 says for to you is born this day in the city of david the savior who is christ the lord verse 12 says and this will be a sign for you you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger verse 13 says and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts Praising God and saying, verse 14, can we say it together? Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among men with whom God is pleased. So God is pleased with me, bringing glory and beauty to my life. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verse 10 to 11 says, And while they were gazing into heaven, as they went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, Verse 11 said and said, Men of Galilee, our men of our ladies tell the sea, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, 
who has who was taken out from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven the angels unfold for us the mysteries to come what will happen in the nearest future they offer to us what God's plan is they are called ministering spirits now in the life of the church how do we see the operation of angels the whole life of the church benefits from the mysterious and powerful help of angels now in Acts of the Apostles chapter 5 verse 18 to 21 now they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison now take note somebody's deliverance is about to come they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison verse 19 says but at night can somebody say that but at night an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said verse 20 go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of life I decree and declare every closed door against you may the angel of the Lord open those doors and let you go free in the name of Jesus bring you deliverance remember there are powers that can cover the destiny of a man you are doing well you are doing well and they block your destiny they block your road some people are carrying veil of bad luck some people are carrying veils of disappointment some people are carrying veil of struggling with their destiny some people are carrying veil of difficulties and life as you rise and call the name jesus at the count of three one two three call the name jesus oh Jesus, may you set them free. Open those doors. Set them free. Set them free. Set them free. Bring them deliverance. Let them go. Let them go. In this month of our cause, may their destiny come forth. May they walk in dominion. May they come as you have ordained. May they come forth and begin to do your purposes all the days of their life. In the name of Jesus. You are here, you are, there's a veil over you. At this time, I'm praying for those who are supposed to marry. But then there are difficulties. There are powers blocking you. Every day is disappointment. You are in a relationship. The man is supposed to marry you. There's so many excuses. I decree and I declare, we call upon Jesus, who is the mighty Savior. May he bring you deliverance. Every veil that has covered you, every veil that has covered your face, that has covered your name, Covered your life. May these veils be open now. May they be open by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. There are veils covering many businesses here. You are here and your business is at the verge of sinking. I declare, I declare, as the angel of the Lord was sent to release them from prison, every spiritual prison that has, you have been held in, every spiritual prison that has held your business, as you call the name Jesus, the mighty warrior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Well, when I see this blood, I will pass over you. When I see this blood, I will pass over you. I pray Pray for the blood. Let the blood do the work in your life. Let the mercy of the Lord prevail over every evil incantation, over every evil declaration, over every evil enchantment. Let the blood of the Lord speak to any man here struggling with his destiny, struggling with his business. May your business jump back to life as you call the name Jesus. One, two, three, call the name Jesus. Oh, bring back to life. Bring back to life. Bring back to life. Everything dead in their life. Everything dead in their business. Even in this time, you are a God who does the mighty warrior. You are a God who does the impossible. Lord, I bless you. And I know you are doing something. Change the ordinance. Change the story. 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 In the name of Jesus from today you are returning with good news everybody say i'm returning with good news say i'm returning with good news i am returning with good news in the name of jesus and it says 
go and teach what I have commanded you to do. That every power stopping you from rising, the Lord is taking their hands away and is saying, Go forth and excel. Go forth and be a champion. Go forth and excel. Go forth and be a champion. Go forth and experience liberty. Go forth and be fruitful. Go forth and multiply. Go forth and subdue. Go forth and have dominion in the name of Jesus. They sit there, their child of God. Get yourself ready. We're moving to prayer very soon. Some deliverance has already started. It's important you know that the angels of the Lord command at the command of God. They bring forth the blessings of the Lord to you. The enemies are only wasting their time. The powers of hell are only wasting their time. What you know so long as you align with God, He make it a way where there is no way. He said release, open the door. And He said go and stand. So it means that to, for you, you can be constrained by powers. Not only men, but also by spirits. You can be constrained. The constraint only comes in order to stop you from rising. They stop to make your work difficult. Remember, even after this declaration, it's important for you seated here to continue to pray. Remember, my, one of my graces that happens to me is when in this my ministry is as I'm teaching, deliverance is coming to you. It is not until you fall on the ground. As I'm teaching the word, deliverance is coming. I am telling you, dear child of God, as you receive this word, make sure you are praying that God, my Father, in my life, any power that is holding me back, maybe my spiritual life, they know that when they hold you back, your spiritual life, you will become an easy prey to consume. But you will not be an easy prey to consume. I can't hear your Amen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and what the life. There is nobody who comes to him that ever goes empty-handed. Grace has been distributed. Graces have been distributed even this morning, even as I'm decreeing and declaring that you receive your own. That every every cage that you have kept your destiny. You know, there are certain men, they are living life and doing as if they are actually enjoying life. Whereas they are in bondage. I decree and I declare any man or woman in a lady's town the sea, you have been put in a bondage, in a cage by a woman. By a woman sent from the pit of hell through sexual intercourse. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, may that chain, may that bondage be broken now in the name of Jesus. There are certain men today. You deposit your seed anyhow. You do not know that there are girls who are from the from the from, from the marine kingdom. And they hold you down. You find out you were once doing well. But today you're no longer doing well. Oh Jesus, at the count of three. He is the El Shaddai. He is the El Gibo, the mighty warrior. The true coming king. Anywhere something of you has been taken and held in a bottle. Let that bottle break. Let fire from the throne of heaven consume it now. In the name of Jesus. From women. There are bad men who are destiny killers. They enslave you, put fear inside of you. Any wrong man that has been introduced into your daughter's life, or you are here, you are living in bondage in your, in your house. Oh, there is a way out. There are the scent of water. There is hope for hatred that has been caught. I declare and I declare, may there be deliverance. May there be deliverance. This is the exercise of our ministry. As a priest, prophet, and king, we are releasing a prophetic word over somebody's life here. May there be deliverance before the end of all gods. I declare and I declare, return with your testimonies. Return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Jesus is the power. Jesus is the one who can set free. Jesus is the one who can rescue. Jesus, when you run to him, you never go back empty-handed. Oh, our lady start the sea. Take advantage of what is happening in this parish. That as you run to Jesus every day and even every Saturday, every Sunday, he will meet you at the point of your needs. He will meet you at the point of your needs. He will meet you at the point of your needs. He will meet you at the point of your needs. In the name of Jesus.
Remember, the apostles were captured because they were doing the work of the Lord. So it tells you, when you are doing the work of the Lord, every arsenal from the pit of hell to you, to tell you they want to cover you. Oh, like I was reading the book from uh, a book on uh, this particular man, Rick Warren. And then he said, when you are doing the ministry of the Lord, anything that happens to you in ministry, tell the Lord. He is the one who has given you the assignment. Men may be laughing. Men may be saying rubbish. But when your testimony comes last, your testimony will come. And your testimony will freeze all of them on their teeth. They will only look and see how the Lord has lifted you. Somebody in this parish, the Lord is lifting you high. Higher than you can imagine. You are going higher. You are going higher. Oh, I'm seeing it in my spirit. Oh, there is light upon somebody. There is light upon somebody this morning. He is lifting you high. Lifting you high. Higher. In business. In your career. He is lifting you high. He's lifting you high. You once thought you are nobody. God is saying, I am lifting you high above the nations. I am blessing you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Sin and their child of God. It's important that you receive the prophetic words with prayers. Especially you're doing the work of the Lord. Be not afraid. They will worry themselves at the door. Because they are touching the anointed of the Lord. You are doing the work of the Lord. Be still and know that he is God. Be still. Be still. Be still. Be still. Be still. Tell your spirit be still. Be still. Be still. And know that he is God. Stop fretting this useless anxieties. Questioning every now and then. Am I doing well or am I not doing well? Stop just release yourself. Some of you are in training. Some of you are in training even at this time. God is training you. God is training you. Don't rush your season. Don't rush your season. He's a way make upon you. Resting upon you. Resting upon you. Resting upon your family. Resting upon the work of your hand. Resting upon you. Only says be still. Be still. Be still. Be still. In your spirit. In your spirit. Receive it. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Ah. I can know what you done for me. That's why I praise you the way I do. No one knows. If you know this song, help me. Like I know what you done for me. That's why I praise you the way I do. Can we sing? No one knows. Like I know. What you've done for me That's why I praise you the way I do No one knows Like I know What you've done for me That's why I praise you the way I do No one knows Like I know what you done for me that's why i praise you the way i do no man knows like i know what you done for me that's why i have two more time two more time no one knows like what you done for me? That's why I praise you the way I do. No one knows like I know what you done for me. That's why I praise you the way I do. It will give you a loud testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe, say miraculous, amen. In the church's liturgy, the church joins with the angels to adore the thrice holy God. She invokes the assistance in the funeral liturgy where he says in Paradisum, the Ducant, Te Angeli, 
in paradisum the ducante angeli may the angels lead you into paradise so he tells you that when you die angels escort you into the presence of god that they do not only walk here on earth that even when you have closed your eyes to time to open it to eternity angels escort you they escort you into the presence of the lord as one who has done the will of god that at the end of your life there is a reward waiting for you this is the word of god in romans chapter 18 8 verse 18 8 verse 18 that at the end there is a glory waiting for us number three in the church in the cherubic hymn of the Byzantine liturgy she celebrates the memory of the of certain angels more particularly there is a feast day for saint michael gabriel and what raphael and then the guardian angels so in your life as you are going to work you have a guardian angel and the first thing when you wake up in the morning is to speak to that guardian angel and we have a tradition in the church where we say angel of god what my guardian angel to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guide to rule and do what guide so there is an angel is cutting you even into the office that even when you submit your portfolio in your business environment as man they have seen a man but they do not know that you have an advantage the advantage of the spirit of the living god you are a grace carrier you have brought an addition to that business as a carrier of grace and you're walking into that territory with your angel your garden angel and then you find yourself because of your presence in that particular business the business experiences what a lifting I pray for you. May you, your life, become an addition that will bless people's lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Angels of God. So it's important when you wake up every morning, you always call their name. We are surrounded, brothers and sisters, by the watchful care and intercession of, of God over us from infancy unto death. Matthew chapter 18 verse 10 says, See, that you do not despise one of these little ones for i tell you that in heaven the angels always behold the face of my father who is in heaven now beside every believer stands an angel as protector and shepherd leading him to life that is what i said before god an angel already here on earth the christian life shares by faith in the blessed company of angels and men united in god now in creation the visible world just to let you know that God is a creator of the world number one God created the visible world in all its richness